Hello and good morning. As I was making my Americano coffee and a pint of dairy free coconut smoothie milk. And after reflecting on myself and my current life at the minute. I've been doing a lot of thinking. I am David. I am David Wesley. That is my identity, my new identity. That is who I'd like to be known by. In order to live the life that God the Father wants me to live, I have to go back, way, way, way back. to get a better understanding as to what my life was really about. And what it consists of. And who it is meant to have, people-wise, that is, within it. Because right now, I'm somewhat lost. My soul, that is. I'm somewhat lost. The people I once thought I knew, I'm no longer beginning to know. And the people that I once thought I didn't know, I'm beginning to know. It's like everything from my old life is dying and decaying and it's been made anew within God's timing with the people that God wants me to have within my life that is I'm not ashamed to be different, nor am I ashamed to be broke, poor, unstatused, with virtually very little to my name. Because I value my integrity I value my peace, my joy, my happiness, my gratitude, patience, unconditional love, forgiveness, and all of these things that we people on a whole, I'm talking on behalf of everyone here, take for granted. myself personally on a whole I am a highly valued guy just not from the world's perspective I don't need money I don't need material possessions to believe that I have status because that is worldly status it draws negative attention it draws fake people into your lives to then bleed you dry and take you half of your stuff.
that right there is not a real highly valued woman or man for that matter because it's of the world it's not of the bible it's not of god's kingdom nor is it approved and witnessed by the holy spirit I don't have anything against those that have this type of lifestyle, but it doesn't interest me. Because just when I actually think that I'm broke and I'm poor and I have very little, that's not wholeheartedly true. I have the Bible, I have the Ten Commandments, the judgments and statutes. I have a relationship with God that I'm currently trying to strengthen. I have a relationship with His Son Jesus Christ via the Holy Spirit's presence. My wealth or my biblical emotions, my wealth is my spiritual and psychological well-being. Whether people want to believe this or not, one day this physical vessel is going to fail us. We are going to die. And within those last moments, a lot of us are going to be freaking out, talking from past experiences. We're going to be freaking out, asking ourselves, did we love enough? Did we forgive enough? Did we give enough? Have I done potentially enough to make God the Father happy? And His Son Jesus Christ happy? Better yet, Did I accept my free gift of salvation along with free gift of eternal life? Or did I reject God the Father? Did I reject this Son Jesus Christ? See, all of these questions I ask myself on a daily basis, whether I utter them out loud or whether the whether I you know silently speak them within my heart and my mind. There are only two people at the end of the day that I want to be proving worthy to. And that is God the Father and His Son Jesus Christ. They have given me everything I need. They have given me psychological and spiritual wealth. They have also given me a new way in living. That doesn't draw negativity that doesn't draw false friendships and relationships. It doesn't suck the life out of my soul like it does a lot of people in this world. If anything, that life doesn't interest me. I wanna break free from it. My training means more to me because I don't see it as training in order to make big bucks as you will and do things of the world and follow false gods and idols as you will I'm doing it for me and my soul I'm, I'm doing it for psychological strength spiritual strength better yet I'm doing it to strengthen my peace I'm doing it to strengthen the healing process because at the end of the day I've got nothing to prove to anyone and I don't care who you are watching this video at the end of the day if you're a good person and you have good intentions 
then great. Make your faces known. Or make your faces known. If you're bad, and you're genuinely wanting to live an unrepentant life, and you reject God the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ, that is the lifestyle that you chose, and that is on your heads. And you are going to pay the price. And if you have to result to hate and oppression in order to feel good about yourselves, then clearly you lack common sense to understand what's really going on in the world. And clearly you don't have any love within your hearts and your minds. And when I say love, I'm not talking conditional love, I'm talking unconditional love. And that's what makes me different to the vast majority of everybody else. My love is unconditional, my forgiveness is unconditional. My mercy, or should I say God's mercy, God's grace, they have to be earned. They are In other words, they are not freely given. And that there are conditions to be met in order to receive God's grace and God's mercy. And there you have it, folks. I bid you a good day. Drink plenty. Stay safe. But most of all, and most importantly, look after one another. Life's too short to be taken for granted. And it sure as hell is too short. Trying to be someone that you're not in order to fit into a system that couldn't even care less about our souls, if that makes any sense. But again, what do I know? 